Hi, I'm Julia White. I'm a breast cancer radiation oncology at the University of Kansas Medical Center, uh, Comprehensive Cancer Center. Um, and I'm uh, today I, I, I'm focusing on advancements in radiation therapy, really kind of looking at when we can identify patients who don't need radiation after breast conservation. I think, um, as many people know, there's been probably no, close to 20 randomized trials trying to identify that population of patients who don't benefit from radiation after breast conserving surgery. And when we use standard clinical pathologic criteria, we have failed to identify a cohort of breast cancer patients that don't benefit from radiation. I think what's in the last year we're seeing a lot of data emerge using either biologic subtype uh, selection or using a multi-gene assay. Um, so there are multi-gene assays that are available have been really developed in um, uh, populations looking at distant metastasis um, and uh, chemotherapy benefit. So really in, in, in trials looking at systemic therapies. Um, and these assays, Oncotype Recurrence Score, Mammoprint, PAM50, ROR, they've all been shown to be prognostic for local regional recurrence in various um, prospective data sets uh, where tissue has been collected. Um, and so there are now several studies looking at this, and, and two in the past year that have been early reporting, the Lumina trial from Ontario Clinical Oncology Group, the Precision trial from um, uh, the Harvard Group. And these both are trials, single arm phase two trials, demonstrating that when we identify patients who have clinical pathologic criteria of low risk, hormone sensitive HER2 negative grade one to stage one, when you use a biologic selector, um, either a, a key 67 in the case of Lumina, um, PAM50 ROR less than 40 in the case of the precision trial, you, about two thirds of those patients are actually low risk and about one third fall out as not being low risk. And early data confirms that these patients have very, that with these biologic selectors um, have a very low risk of local regional recurrence. There are now two ongoing randomized trials. A lot of excitement around the, the San Antonio presentation of a polar assay. And this is a gene assay actually developed in a, a population um, looking at where they had no radiation and no systemic therapy. So it's a, a, a gene assay developed specifically asking a radiation question. Um, and they presented uh, uh, their training set and their, their validation set, and a validation set in three trials demonstrating that it's not only prognostic for local regional recurrence and stage one hormone sensitive HER2 negative breast cancer, but importantly, it's predictive. The patients who did not get the radiation, had, who had a low polar score, had no benefit from radiation. So this is very exciting. I think in the future, up to 25,000 women with stage one hormone sensitive breast cancer each year may be able to omit radiation by using these biologic selectors of low risk.